Hello, Neil Sossel here. On today's short video, I would like to um, continue the uh, discussion from the original video that I did, and that was entitled, or that is entitled, The System by Freddy Gruber. Uh, in today's video, I'd like to show some simple ways of uh, applying the system uh, to simple sticking patterns, such as the alternating single stroke roll, the double stroke roll, alternating flams, etc., etc. Um, for those of you not familiar with my previous video, the system by Freddie Gruber. You might want to refer to that video on YouTube. Check that video out and uh, watch it, and then you'll have more of an understanding of what this system is all about. Um, I will do a quick recap right now um, of the system, uh, the way I originally presented it in the previous video. Um, basically, it's a three-measure exercise, and it's in the traditional grip. So the left hand is going to be the traditional grip. Uh, for those of you who are match grip players, just do with the left hand, which you do with what I'm going to show you with the right hand, and you'll have the system match grip. Of course, traditional grip players who practice both grips can do the same thing. So the um, exercise uh, that I'm going to uh, start off with as a quick review will be a three-measure phrase, three measures with each hand, alternating hands. It'll be a measure of eighth notes to a measure of eighth note triplets to a measure of sixteenth notes with the right hand, and then the exact same thing with the left hand. Here's the exercise. By the way, the quarter note today, uh, the tempo, is set to quarter note 134. That's the exercise. Um, you'll notice the four fingers open and close on every single note. So with the eighth note uh, version, the eighth note framework, I'm opening on one, two, three, or four, closing on the ants. When I go into the eighth note triplets, I'm opening and closing on every eighth note. Um, as a reference point, one and three, the fingers will be closed. On two and four, the fingers will be open. Sixteenth notes, same thing as eighth notes, twice as fast. All right, so it's just open, close, open, close. That's basically the system. Now, let me shut the metronome off here. Shut that off for a minute. Say you wanted to practice the system uh, slowly. I, of course, slowly at first is uh, always the best way to approach this. Uh, using the system for the alternating single stroke roll, you would uh, tertial grip again. You would do it like this. You start both hands up, we'll drop the right hand, and as soon as I, the tip of the stick kisses the pad, I let the fingers relax open. Actually, the butt of the stick, the ass end of the stick, will push the fingers open. Now, the right hand, the fingers are open. Then, the left hand, same thing. I drop the left hand, let the fingers open, and I've got both uh, tips of the sticks more or less facing upward towards the ceiling. Both hands are open. See the right hand is open this way, the butt of the stick is away from the palm of the hand. And in the left hand, the fingers are extended straight out, all four fingers, first, second, third, fourth fingers are extended straight out. The stick is held firmly in the grip, the weight of the stick is in the heel. Then I close the right hand. Just let the stick drop back towards the pad, let the fingers close, squeeze the stick gently into the groove of the palm next to the fatty part of the thumb. Then I close the left hand. Make a second stroke with the left hand and both hands are now in the close position. So it's going to be open, open, close, close. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand lead. Nice 
Tipp 7. Slow back down. Still doing the system. Open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. Close it down again. Together. Try not to hit the wood portion of the pad. You might want to start off on this uh, on a pad and then move the snare drum later on. And then slow it back down to the original tempo. Again, do this slowly at first. Open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. So to recap, if you're going to sing 16th notes, uh, the right hand will be playing the 8th note uh, partials. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. By the way, the opening and closing um, feel of this exercise is why this is commonly referred to as the open-close technique or the push-pull technique where you push and then you pull close. You push open and you pull close. Either term doesn't matter what term you use. So the right hand is playing the eighth notes with the right hand system, because I'm leading with the right hand. The left hand is going to open and close on all the E's and the U's. One E and U, two E and U, three E and U, four E and U. Open, close, open, close. That's all, it's the system from the first exercise. Except now I'm coordinating it with the right hand. So that's one way you can practice the system using the single stroke bow. Very slowly at first. Open, open, close, close. One more time. All right, so that's that. Um, double stroke rolls. Let's talk about the double stroke roll for a minute. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is one open close motion movement per hand. So if you're, again, if we're going to start with an eighth note count, you'll be playing one and, and three and with the right hand, if you're leading with the right hand, two and, and four and will be with the left hand. And all you're going to do is alternate the hands in a nice, even, steady, smooth flowing double stroke motion. Faster with it, uh, the motions will be brought down to a minimum. Freddie would say, hone it down. So when you're playing it at a faster tempo, it's basically that. I don't know if you can see that at the camera angle. Let me turn the pad around. Open, close, da da. That's what it is. Two and four and. One and two and three and four and. Open, close, open, close. The right hand opens on and closes on one hand and three hand. Double stroke roll with systems, with using, utilizing this system. Say you wanted to practice alternating flams using the system. Um, Basically, what you do is you'll play a flam. The, um, the right hand, which is going to be the main note, uh, stroke of the flam, the left hand will be the grace note uh, in this demonstration. It opens. And at the same time, the left hand opens. Now, to play our left hand flam, the left hand closes, the right hand closes. So it's open, 
both hands simultaneously, and then close both hands simultaneously at the same time. When you uh, play alternating flams in uh, succession, in sequence, it should, should, <laughs> if I'm lucky, <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the drum gods are with us today, you should get this effect. Now watch closely what my hands are doing. I don't know if you can bring the camera in closer or not, but maybe if you get a close-up of this. Right, left, right, left. See, both hands will open <coughs> on the first flam, the right hand flam, and then they close on the next flam. So, right hand, flam, both hands are open. After the right hand flam is played, the right hand is down, the left hand is up. And then for the left hand flam, both hands close. The left hand is down as it just played the main note, and the right hand, which played the grace note, comes up ready to play the next flam, and you'll see that it's closed, in closed position. Again, the fingers are gently pressing the stick against the fatty part of the thumb. So one more time, starting with the right hand flam, although you can start with the left hand flam, it doesn't really matter. Open and close all the time. The system as applied to the alternating flam. Strive for good, clean, open flam sounds. Get the coordination happening. It may take a while at first, but with a little practice, you'll coordinate the hands. frustrated if you're using a pad like this <coughs> and you hit the wood every once in a while these rubber discs are much too small um, just try to get the sticks as close to the center the tips of the sticks I mean as close to the center of the pad as possible without the sticks colliding with each other sorry there it is alternating flams using the system again playing a right hand flam both hands open the gray stone hand, the left hand comes up after play. Um, the right hand is also slightly up. It's also open. So it's going to be, here's the right hand flam broken down. Start both hands closed. Now both hands are open. Right hand's down, left hand is up. Left hand flam, both hands are closed. Right hand flam, both hands are open. You can see the, the open left hand here. And then close, open, close, open, close. There's the open, close technique. That is a simple way to uh, get in through flams using the system. This is these three exercises, these three patterns I just showed you, the single stroke roll, the double stroke roll, and the flams, utilizing the opening and closing of the fingers or the system. One more time, the double stroke roll. Open, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. You can do these with five stroke rolls. Seven stroke rolls, nine stroke rolls, and then of course it's the plain old garden variety double stroke roll. And of course the single stroke roll which we started at, I'll uh, recap one more time for you. I'm just now warming up so... Give me a minute. Open, open, close, close, open, open, close, close. I hope this uh, brief recap uh, gives you some ideas of how to apply this system uh, to some of the simple rudiments. Experiment with paradiddles, drags, uh, roughs, four-stroke rough using the system, four-stroke rough single paradiddle. Four-stroke rough double paradiddle. Triples. All using the system. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.